Hello! Today we're going to create this crackle finish using DIY paint and tight bond wood glue. This is a sample board that had a lot going on and I just painted over the whole thing using DIY paints old school. And then I put a coat of big top on it just to seal it. And now in this little cup is some tight bond wood glue and I've added a little bit of water in it so it's easier to brush because this is the really thick stuff. And I'm just brushing it on, no, no rhyme or reason here, just cross hatch brush strokes just to get it on. Then I'm just gonna give it a really quick go over with the heat tool just to give the glue kind of a little skin so I can paint over it easily. Now that the glue has a little bit of a skin, so it's just kind of dry to touch, I'm going to paint over it with a contrasting color. In this case, it's DIY Paints Tarnished Pearl. And I'm putting it on pretty thick. I'm just kind of kind of glopping it on. And again, no, no specific pattern. I'm just kind of brushing it every which way. Now I'm going to grab the heat tool again to dry this quickly. This will still crackle if you just let it naturally dry, but you get better results, I think, when you use a heat tool, even a heat tool versus a blow dryer. You can see this, this is in real time, I haven't sped this up, how that's crackling right away. The thicker the glue, the thicker your crackle is going to be, so if you just want a fine lace-like crackle, keep your glue pretty thin and you'll get that kind of a that kind of an effect. You can also see here how fast the DIY paint is drying. You can see on the top of my little sample corner that it's a lot lighter and in the in the middle and along the bottom it's darker but it dries really fast too. So I'm really happy with how this little corner experiment worked out. Um, this is the first time I've done crackle using DIY paint, so this was an experiment for me. I've done it a lot using acrylic paints. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and do the whole board. Same process, I'm using my water and, and tight bond glue mixture, and I'm just going to brush it on the board. This time instead of putting the paint on full strength, I decided I'm going to water it down a little bit. So I'm just pouring it into a little container and then I'm just going to give it a few squirts of water, mix it really well, and then brush it on. Remember you want to put the paint on pretty thick. You don't want it to be too thin or it's just not going to work the same way. So don't, don't be uh, skimpy with your paint layer. I'm trying to smooth this paint out as much as I can because I did notice in my little sample corner that the paint wants to crackle along those brush marks. So if you, you have as few brush lines as you can, it'll crackle a little bit more random. Thank you. 
it really doesn't take long before you start seeing those crackle marks come through. And one thing I did notice about using this glue is that it, it's crystal clear underneath. You don't get that milky white kind of film that I did notice when I used to use Elmer's glue. So that's kind of a win for this tight bond. So the thinner your glue, the smaller the cracks you're going to have. So you can see where I've applied it really thick, where I have these big giant cracks. And if so, you just want a fine crackle, then just apply your glue really thin. Just brush it on thin and then you apply your paint and hit it with a heat tool or a blow dryer and you get this amazing crackle right away. It works perfect. Well, now that I have this awesome crackly board, I have to do something with it to make it look like a cool art piece. So I've just taken a baby wipe and I'm kind of going around and cleaning up the edges and giving them a little bit more of a, I don't know, organic kind of feel. So before I go ahead with anything else, I'm going to seal this with DIY Paint's Big Top Brush On Sealer. DIY paint is very porous. It is a clay based chalk style paint so you want to seal it before you go ahead and add a transfer or anything else to it. I gave it a little spritz of water because it is still warm from the heat tool and I found the big top was drying too fast and I was getting a lot of brush strokes. That little spritz of water just helps it move a little bit easier and gives you a smoother finish. So this is a piece of transfer out of the brocant. And I thought it would look really pretty on there. These transfers got wet a while back. My roof leaked, which is fun. So I don't know exactly how well these are gonna work, but we'll give it a go. bit more difficult but
I'm really pushing hard. Another thing um, I should mention is when you are applying a transfer to wood, always use the flat of the pusher stick. You never want to use the corner because wood is, well, it's soft and you can actually make grooves in the wood that you can never get rid of. That is the perfect transfer. For this piece. I love it. I'm just adding a little bit of DIY paints dark wax just to give it a little bit of it more of an antique look. Then just buff that back to soften any hard edges you might have and it's looking pretty good. Okay, I'm just going to seal over the whole piece with some clear wax. doesn't really need the clear. I just like to seal the whole thing in now. Because there's that big top layer underneath the transfer. So I just brush it on. And then we're gonna take the excess. We're just gonna lightly wipe this back. And there we are. Quick and gorgeous little project. Look at that transfer. So pretty. Well, there you have it. A simple, fun, and quick way to achieve a crackle texture on pretty much anything. Using DIY paint and tight bonds, no run, no drip, or quick and thick in the US. Thanks for watching, and I hope this has inspired you to go ahead and create something beautiful.